Hello there and welcome back to a brand new series. Yes, the beavers are back and I guess you could say that it is the start of season 3 for our beaver town. Now we've already completed a full run with the iron teeth and the folktales and the ones in front of you, those iron teeth beavers, are part of an exploration group that was sent out by both parties from the folktales and iron teeth before so in some ways yes this uh, series is gonna be a little bit different we've got some quality of life mods so this should bring the best of both worlds together we're also using a custom map and we are finally giving a try to all those updates that came out about a month ago so why don't we start with the uh, with the map first and let's take a look at what we what we have here. Now, this was probably the most difficult part, choosing the map. There's just so many great maps out there that it took me a very long time to find the one that I wanted to use. And as you can see, this map actually has... Um, it seems like we've got three mountain ranges here. So there's one right behind our starting location. There's another one towards the further further north there and there's one right here and there's lots of water sources as well what i really like about this map is the terrain how we've got the mountain ranges but also flat areas to put our farms down or turn them into green pastures right so let's have a look at this the first mountain range has some metal and we've got a mine here some ruins and a couple of water sources here as well that run into one of those lakes here. And then we've got another system here, a couple of waterfalls. And what's really cool here is we've got a few of those dams that we can open up and let the water flow through these lands here. But this one we probably need a bit of dynamite, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Now there's some more ruins if we head this way. So let's head to the mountain and uh, wow, this has quite a few water sources that are coming together from the corner of this map. By the way, this custom map was by Summer and it's called Waterfalls. And uh, I'll make sure to have those links in the description as well for you. Now, a couple of rivers that run off the map here. However, we can once again open this up here and let it fill this little pool turn into waterfall and then further let it run through this this canyon and then there was also another section here which is a little bit more secret but if we open up these little dams then same thing we can fill up another pool and have this beautiful hidden waterfall run through the little canal here right so that's uh, half the map done let's have a look at another water source that's in the middle of this mountain and the one that's already open runs towards this side and off the map but same as before we could open a couple of locations and turn this into a bigger mountain lake and in the furthest corner we've got this really cool looking mine that's uh, le been left here after the apocalypse and a massive water source that currently is supplying this beautiful looking waterfall that runs pretty much straight off the map here but as you probably noticed already, there is another dam that we could open up and let it run towards this location. And if we also used a little bit of dynamite, we could also make these areas a bit more green over here. Now, I really like this cliff here. This to me is just begging to be some sort of a, a cliff apartment section again it's just amazing just imagine living here on the cliffs and having a waterfall right next to you actually as a matter of fact there's a couple of them and then a little peninsula as well i think that would be pretty cool now another thing we could also do in the future well that's really distant future probably but if we were to dynamite this section here we could also turn this massive area into a beautiful lake with a couple of islands in the middle that still have some ruins on them. So this over here could probably be some pretty beautiful island resort destination for our beavers when they want to go for a, for a holiday. But yeah, this is pretty much what the, what the map is like and uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's see how this one's gonna roll out. As I said before already, if I said it before already, I actually can't remember. But we are on hard mode again, so this means droughts will most likely be a bit of an annoyance at the start. But in the future, we'll, I'm sure we'll manage to pull through. Now in the Iron Teeth, I did not really focus on getting that dam 
uh, ready right away. So I was thinking, well, why don't we try it in, in this episode? Or in this playthrough at least. And we'll find a narrow section somewhere here, I suppose. Put a bit of a dam and hopefully we can have it up before the drought starts. We could also put one in here. And that requires only one of them. So that might be a good option as well. But I guess we'll we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to surround this section in here. Now another thing I wanted to mention straight away as well. And hopefully I won't forget it uh, some sometime during the, the series. But since it's a very big map. I'm really thinking to how we can best build it. With performance in mind. Because I'd like this to, if we can of course go up to about a thousand beavers but that means the roads will probably have to be pretty efficient so the less junctions we have the better but I don't want to turn it into a grid either so we'll have to be pretty careful and plan it pretty well but I guess for the first few episodes until we're in cycle I don't know 10 should have mattered too much we can uh, just try and survive for the first few episodes and then look at efficiency a little bit later. So right, that's quite a few things mentioned. Now the uh, let's get a few buildings in and then we'll look through the mods as well. So the first things we'll need right away is a few lumberjack posts. Let's put a couple down here. We'll add a few more construction beavers here as well and maybe we can start on one time speed. Now with the priorities, I'd like you to build this first and we'll mark down some areas for cutting those trees down as well. Let's uh, just give this massive area over here. And uh, next we will probably want some water. So for the pumps that seems to be a pretty nice area. So how about we get one of them down over there. And make sure this is the first thing they will do. Okay, do we have any workers here? Yes we do. Please start cutting down those trees ASAP. Uh, building lacks workers. Why? We do have no. No unemployed. Okay, so let's put a couple of you working over there. Still have a couple of unemployed, actually. Never mind. Let's do this. And the next thing we'll most likely going to need is food as well. And there's a few berry bushes over here. Let's see how far can we go. This is probably as far as we want to or as close. Okay, so we'll stick you over there. Probably going to be quite important since we don't have a lot of food just yet. But the next thing, let's just pull this row through here. And we'll look at, no, the farm. Yes, that's the one I'd like to use. And I think we'll place it somewhere here to give us the most range. Because once this, um, this dam will be in, we can cross over as well. So how about, I don't know, somewhere here is probably good. I don't want to block the... Let's see. No, that's fine. Let's leave it over here. We'll give you the lowest of priorities right now because we'd like to get some water going through first. Actually, we can have another constructor over there unless we build one more flag. Yeah, let's do another flag. Right, the next thing. There's quite a bit of flow coming through here and I can't remember what day the drought comes in. I think it might have been day three or four. So we could open this. But the problem is because everything is same level, we put the dam in here and all the water is going to escape through there. Uh, unless we do something like, yep, let's put you, let's put you over here. It can have a high priority, I guess. Well, let's see. Let's leave it at that for, uh, for the time being. And then we'll also pull those roads through there. Maybe demolish this lowest priority. Not so important just yet. But uh, how is things going? I guess we could also speed up the time a little bit. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go a little bit faster. And you should be the next priority. Do we have anyone unemployed? Uh, no, we don't. Those construction beavers are quite important. Actually, the f so is the farm. Yeah, everything's pretty much important right now. Three buildings are lacking workers. Well, hold up. We don't have any water so let's give this building the highest priority empty let's employ someone straight away so this is one of the mods we have gives us the opportunity to put priorities on the buildings when we have unemployed beavers then uh yeah water is going to be the highest so whatever is the highest that's where the beavers will go and 
they will pick that those workplaces first, essentially. Uh, which is fantastic, and I hope one day this is going to be in the base game. Actually, we should have had this done a little quicker. There isn't too much water, but we'll survive the first night. We'll get this done, and I think the next thing... Let's see, landscaping takes quite a few, but we don't really have a, uh, an option in this one. So we'll have you built as well. You probably a little bit lower... Mm, nah, how many? We've got loads of logs. Let's see, Lumberjack Bank, we've got four there, District Center two. Yes, we'd like to construct things, and that's almost done. As soon as that is done, we'll open it up and let some water start flowing here. Actually, that's not a huge priority. We'd like this to be done as well. Uh, and we'd also like some water to be done. Sorry, farm, some food. So with that in mind, how about we put down a few carrots? Nope. Wrong click. Just over there. We leave a little bit of space for a couple of water tanks, actually. But we shall bounce these buildings. Okay, so they are building the farm. Uh, let's give you a bit of a higher priority as well. This one's done. Fantastic. Okay, so we can go and demolish that one there. Few berries have grown up. Oh, we don't really have anyone here. Hmm. Let's employ someone. Who do we lose? District center, water dump. No, everything seems to be good. Maybe someone just grew up as well. And they'll probably need some homes very soon. So, yeah. Okay, how far farm? We got five in there, 25 needed. I'd really like to have another constructor there as well. Another builder beaver. Will be amazing. Oh yeah, one has grown up already. Got a few more in there. Okay. Three days. Um, do you know what, beavers? I think this whole thing is going to be a high priority. Uh, yep. Uh, right, we've got lots of logs. So how about we pause that so we can have another construction beaver. And maybe one more. Now, three days should be enough. We've already got one dam in place. Which is great. I hope we're not going to flood it. We should... Probably, yeah, somebody please go and open that. So we're not going to flood our colony right away. And there it goes. Water's flowing through. That is beautiful. Now, just one more link missing. And then, what is it? Two more days? Oh yeah, that's going to be easy. Now, what's happening? You're still in range. Oh right, it's the night time, of course. Almost forgot. Um, right couple more mods that we can quickly have a look through. We have the draggable utilities, which is fantastic. So we can give a big command to pause everything, or if you hold down shift. Uh, let's do a quick try. So pause, unpause. Huge quality of life mod, in my opinion. Honestly, the amount of time I've had to go through individual lumberjack flags, and when there's like 30 of them, it is not fun at all. What's happening to you guys? You should be able to go all the way there. Uh, maybe they are full. Might be. But let's see. Are you almost done with this? Yep. Beautiful. Now we can start getting some carrots in as well. So yeah. That's uh, that's actually not too bad. Because in Iron Teeth we lost pretty much most of our crops for the first round. This time I think we should be able to keep farming things. If only we had a beaver here. Yep, let's employ someone, and that's come out from the lumberjack flag, which is fine. And why are you sitting around? Okay, of course, you are full, so why don't we look at some storage options here? This one is free. We don't like them, but hey, for the time being, it's a free building. Let's put this one down. Now, we're also putting in a small water tank, so now we can fill this in. And uh, something different you might notice, this one's saying, hey, we're being emptied, and... We're not allowed to store water. So that's another quality of life mod that we have. So any storage buildings will start out by marked as empty and no resources allowed in there. Which means we don't we no longer have to remove the road in front of them when building things. Which is great. So yeah. Once it gets built, we're not gonna have to worry about going back to that building. Only to discover that it's already full and then we have to try and empty it. 
Okay, so things are going uh, pretty well. Yeah, the only annoyance is some buildings such as the water storage and the log pile. Well, yeah, they will have to re remember to set them up as well. But it's a small price to pay because, yeah, it's uh, just so much nicer this way, honestly. Okay, let's get uh, extend our farms just a little bit there. And would probably like another storage somewhere else. Okay, so what's going on? We've got no unemployed, but I think science is most likely going to be the next thing we'll do. So let's do one... Don't really know. How far can this farm go? Oh, pretty far. Okay, so we'll measure out what can we do in here. Actually, as I said before, right now it does not matter. So let's just put another building down. How many logs are you going to take? 12. Okay. Got a few, but not too many left. So I guess our first thing once the uh, science building is down, we uh, will want to get the forester up and running very soon. Now, another thing, just to keep our beavers alive, um, I don't think those breeding pods are going to be helpful because I have a feeling they will also make babies by just using houses. But let's uh, let's see what happens. So let's queue up a few of you. How many do we need? Mm, I think we're going to need, yeah, this many. Okay, water. What's going on? You do have access to water. So why don't you go and drink some? There we go. Okay, great. Drought is almost here, but we don't have to worry this time. Yes, we've got the dams already in, so sorry. Yep, the dams. That's correct. We've got the dams in, so everything is going fine this time. And we also have someone else that's grown up. Okay, so that's great. We're already making science points as well. And you know what? We should probably do some potatoes as well how about we'll have some potato farms maybe like three rows start planting those and then uh, planting let's say potatoes we'll only leave one beaver here don't think we're gonna need more uh what we will need though oh logs yeah that's probably what we need and what i'd also like to do actually if we have a few spare logs which we might not just yet i would like to go through this forest here and then block off the well block off the end here with some dams so we can have also forest here and keep those trees growing throughout those droughts as well so a quick check on the colony district center four i don't think we need that many let's just slow it down a little oh food issue problem yep um well, there are some berries there, but let's see, 60%, I think we should be able to survive a few, well, maybe one more day. Day 7 already? Wow, things are moving fast. Okay, so the next milestone is probably to reach this area here. And I'd like to do the same. I'd like to put a dam over there. Oh, we're going to need some levies. That's 120 points, though. Uh, quite a few, but... Um, I'm sure we can figure something out. Well, it's not a priority just yet, so let's... Uh, let's wait a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Uh, carrots, can you please come online? 70%? Uh, well, since you're free and you're not really doing much right now... How about you plant us some more carrots? Not all the way there, but about here, perhaps. We'll put a few roads down as well, so we can get across. Okay, and this space, I guess we'll leave it for some more water pumps. Actually, we should have put the dam in here. No, this was only three blocks, but in the future, because this is a little bit shorter, we'll probably go straight through here, at least for the time being. Okay, how are things? We've got two unemployed. And that's no good. Farm's about to come online, but it's uh, not quite there yet. Okay, things, how are things here? We're taking down these trees, but we'd probably like to move those flags a little bit closer. Yep, let's do a couple over there. What's wrong with you guys? You want food? Yep, about that. How far are you? 83%. We still have ways to go, but... 
Uh, hopefully these berries will keep you alive for a little bit longer. And what we'll do is actually we'll just add a few more carrots in here. And how about some potatoes as well? Perhaps some more potatoes. I don't think we'll need this many. But what's the focus? Oh, potatoes is the focus. Right, 95% almost done only three we'll we'll be we'll be fine 2.4 days left for the trout and okay can we extend this road a little bit more now yes we can just a bit more to go though and let's try and grab yep all of them are paused now we got two more going here and um hmm, hmm, hmm. not a huge forest left in there but it's okay. Let's see. Can we... Yes, we can. Not really. Uh, wait. No, no, no. One second. Let's try and get this road through about there. How about this now? Okay, so that's in the range. And seems to be a good location. So let's do that. We highlighted everything. Not quite, but nearly. Okay. Carrots are coming online. Can we actually harvest carrots? And you know what? Let's have another beaver here as well, since we do have a spare one right now. Now get those carrots harvested, please. We've got a whole lot of hungry beavers there. Beautiful. Okay, so that's a good, good start for us. Not bad at all. Can we also... How far are we now? We're getting pretty close to this location here. And wow, okay. Beaver well-being has gone up to five, which is great. What's happening? Oh, there's a small tree. Of course there is. Are we... Yes, we are able to connect. Let's go around and maybe we can finish this dam in here as well. I think we should be able to. And we'll probably try and do the same thing somewhere here. How far can we get? Not too far. But we can fix this by. Let's have... Uh, I think we only need you this far. Mark it down. Get rid of those trees, please. And then, yeah. Let's try and get this closed. How many points do we have? Only 60. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to have to ramp up the uh, beaver baby production, please. So, a couple more houses. Which way are they facing? Okay, let's do one. Maybe two. Why not? Let's get a few babies in there. We are going to need a massive workforce. Yep, we are. Now, the carrots are coming in, which is great. I think we can change you to planting. And no focus, so just uh, go nuts. Yeah. Let's get the food in. Water is looking fine. Yeah. Should last a little bit. But I'd also like to get uh, get the science up. And maybe we put it just behind here in case we want to expand those farms again. Okay. Ooh. So I think we've gone through a couple of mods already. There is an extra one which gives us uh, access to do those two types of arches. They're kind of like platforms. But just a little bit longer. Which uh, can be interesting. Uh, right. Okay, so last forest down. I'm a little bit worried about the the trees. Just a little bit. I think we'll move over here very soon. And try and chop down the, this forest there as well. Yep, what are we building? We are building... Not really sure what... Where are you guys? Okay, so the drought is done. Great. And we're getting these dams in place. Beautiful. Wow, okay, so the flow seems to be really strong in here. And from what I've noticed on Reddit as well, it seems the flow uh, matters a lot more than before now. So, yeah, we're going to have to get some blanks. And for power, ooh, that's quite a few logs. Not bad. Well done, beavers. I think uh, 90 horsepower CMS, okay. Uh, let's see, I guess here could be good. And you know what, if we get rid of this road, lumber mill, that could be easy start. We get a few logs in there, we'll unlock the forester. How many points do you need? You need 60. Okay, 
so that's gonna be the next thing we'll do we just need seven planks now where should we put this forest we already have few logs in here uh sorry yeah few flags in here so i guess we could put you down about here let's keep you away from the colony just a little bit yeah let's do it that way okay beavers what are you building now the dam is complete right after the drought finished uh, but at least we are prepared for the next one now beautiful farms are looking great as well we even have a couple of potatoes coming in so this might not be a bad time to get these houses done please yep let's get to that get these houses done uh, actually do you know what I think our priority should be this here so that's gonna require 50 logs got a few more trees growing okay we'll be fine will be fine but we're gonna need some planks just to get this forester going so raise the priority on that so that should be the next and after that since our food and water seems to be well quite stable so far by cycle two we've got beautiful farms going water is coming in might have to increase the storage amount soon but uh yeah the next worry will be to secure our lumber production so a few more lo uh, logs in there and then we can move to block off these areas as well. Do you know what? This can probably go. But it's not a huge priority. So that can be done a little bit later. Uh, 200 in the bank. Okay, so that's great. And I think we should be able to finish all those things. Just 30 more. I bet some of these lags are almost full. How about we take one of you out and turn stick you in this building where did you go uh you disappeared oh he's in this one okay we've got another flag here not to worry yep we've got three now so that's good uh, let's increase the farm employment priority as well just in case someone passes away food situation going down but we got two beavers in here so we should be able to keep up okay things are looking beautiful i think we've got a pretty great start for this beautiful map that we've we've chosen and uh to be honest i am very excited for this series so um thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one